we've decided we're going to show you as many interesting things, 10 in fact, without moving from this very spot. <gasps> you say that is impossible, I say it is very doable. Now, one of the things you learn a lot about on bushwalk is seed dispersal methods. Now, we are like all the other animals, we, as we walk through the bush, different species of grass, etc., attach themselves to us. And you can see how sticky they are and how they actually develop to get stuck into the hair of any animal coming past. Now, that actually looks like a little um, panicum seed that's got wrapped in. And you can see it's really in there. Ow! So there we go. That was one. I sat on a separate seed dispersal. Now if you look at this from a distance, it looks like a beautiful little fluffy white seed on a little bush. But if I sneak... Oh, I just sat on one of these! Ow! <laughs> Darn it! Ow, 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 ow! Okay, there we go. Ow! You'll see why I'm owing. If you look carefully inside that beautiful white fluff, there are razor sharp uh, little thorns that are designed to attach themselves uh, to the animals as they move past. Very, very cool. Okay, I just need to rearrange my ow, and then I put my hand on one, and you can see they're all over the place, and they just look like they're absolutely nothing. And then, in the closer look, you can see those evil little spikes inside. Too close? But, now, as I said, so what is that now, Vim? That's, we did the egg. Ow! I need to go back to my original seat. There's no spikes there. Ow! So we've done the egg, we've done two different grasses, and I think I saw, yes, a third grass that I wanted to show you. This is called small spear grass. I'm hoping these seeds are ready. Let's see, we pull on them like this. Okay, so they've got a very, very interesting dispersal method. So they'll be blown from the wind at this. I'm hoping it's ready. But if you if you just slowly give them a little turn, they normally get that um, from when they go into the wind. And uh, there we go. And we find a nice piece of soft soil where it would. Pop in, tell me when you got it, Vim. Cool. There you go. Oh no, it fell down. Darn it. Oh, no, 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 no. No, that one. I need another one. So, actually, if you get one that's uh, relatively ready to be dispersed, so if you don't have to pull them out, you just pull very softly and you give them that little turn, it actually burrows, it corkscrews. It's designed to corkscrew into the grass. Okay, let's try another one. We've got a few. Okay, one of these is going to work. I got a feeling. Mouth. Hmm? We'll put it in my mouth, Vim. Like, we'll try. That's right. Basically, it's. I think these might be a bit, a bit too green. Let's try now. Is it spinning in my? Oh, it's not spinning in my fingers. No, you're supposed to wait till you're in the ground. You can see. And you see it's slowly moving. So it actually corkscrews into the soil, uh, which I, I've always found amazing since I was a little kid. Now this grass, I don't even know what it is. The next one. It's spear grass that's gone awry. Look at that. So that hasn't managed to, to get into ground, but because of the wind, it's corkscrewed and tied itself in a knot. How cool is that? It's very pretty, isn't it? Don't you think? Uh, make a wonderful decoration. Uh, well, we've still got a few more interesting things around us to show you, but it seems like Jamie's got one of the biggest birds we get here. And uh, here we go. We found the tiniest little grasshopper that's exquisitely camouflaged as well. Isn't that beautiful? It always amazes me how the insect world has really, really mastered the art of camouflage. Very, very cool. He looks exactly like the uh, the little bits of quartz and s sand around him. Okay, now we've uh, we've located without moving some more spear grass. And this time, we actually managed to get one to go almost all the way into the ground earlier. 
Look at that. So let's try again. Let's put it in. I think I put... Wait, come on, get in the water. Around. Look at... There we go. Look at that. Down it goes. Oh no, it was stopped by the other piece of spear grass. Oh dear, something's crawled into my shoe. Right, there we go, so the, we have the spear grass. Uh, and, and where was the other thing? Oh yes, right here. The tiniest, I f I, and I, I'm very irritated with myself. Some of you might know, because I'm sure Steph showed you the, these, these bugs before. I cannot for the life of me uh, remember their name. Now, can you believe that that oh he's gone but that was a living insect it's now just an egg casing you see them you can see that the, the bug is vacated you can just see the little holes but and you've got these little bugs that literally look like a piece of fluff like a little bit of bird down as they they move around so cool the miniature world I'm sure there was a uh, documentary called that but now you might have noticed that I've got a feather in my hat now and uh, it's quite a big one quite a nice pretty one and I'm sure a lot of you will recognize it as the guinea fowl feather and there was a reason it was in my hat earlier it was a clue to the quiz I asked a little bit earlier oh dear and look thunder and lightning very ominous all around us as we sit quietly here in amongst the grass well done to Lauren and Aaron so the feather and the egg go together they're both from the same species of bird a guinea fowl guinea fowl this one's obviously from uh, one that's been out of the egg stage for quite some time okay now we are sort of being hemmed in here by the cloud at the moment. So we're going to start slowly meandering back towards uh, quarantine, just in case it does start to rain. We, it's very seldom we get rain from the north, but when we do, it can be quite the storm. Okay, I'm just trying to remember, have we, got, have we done 10 things, Vim? We've done spear grass, we've done spiky grass that's I was stuck to Brent's bottom, uh, we've done a guinea fowl, so what was that? Spear grass, spiky grass, uh, little bug egg casing, uh, Guinea fowl feather, guinea fowl egg, ah, panicum grass stuck in my leg hair, and still knotted from that. What are we now? Six. Oh dear. Oh dear, only six? Okay. Ah, thank you. Herbie, no, that's cheating, Herbie. Herbie's trying to help me cheat. He's bringing me something from far away. <laughs> no, Herbie, I, I have to have it from here. Uh, well, wait, uh, I'll try not look at Herbie's offering. Uh, we'll, we'll use it later once we've discovered everything that is around us already. Oh, the grasshopper, seven. Okay. Now, then that velvet ant disappeared. Oh, what's that, Vim? What is that, Vim? Yeah. Look at that. It looks like there's something that's made a nest there. Oh, there's ants. What do they look like through the camera of them? Um, box skeletons. Skeletons. Oh, you know what that is. That's probably a spider's nest. And it's probably stuck. I don't want to break it open because obviously I think the spider still lives there. So he's meshed with his web these leaves together and he's ambushed the spy oh it looks like um some polyrhynchus ants and he's eaten them all and just left their carapaces behind <gasps> that was number eight for him number nine is the bush itself that those polyrhynchus or expired polyrhynchus ants are in uh, it is a tiny little sandpaper oh no it's not a sandpaper resin no, it's not. It's a flavescence. Uh, it is a little raisin bush. And uh, in this area, they don't get too big because the elephants uh, like to keep them quite well trimmed. But they have wonderful, beautiful yellow flowers. But this this is not one we see too often. We normally see the sandpaper raisin is the most common one we see. <laughs> and that's nine and ten to finish it with a really easy one. Uh, a one that I was saving. And it... Uh, there we go. 
scrub hair pellets. Now they're not dark black like other grouse eaters pellets uh, and that's because scrub hares eat their own feces up to seven times to get all the possible nutrients out of it so the reason they do that is because they don't have a rumen, uh, ruminating stomach so they've only got one stomach not four so to get the best out of their, their their grass they have to eat it up to seven times okay it's oh, oh I've been I've got so many thorns in my bottom. Okay, well, I try to remove the thorns from my bottom. Uh, let's go see what James Henry is up to.